<clears throat> Hi, this is Wolf Baby Blitz. I'm back here playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, right now I'm still in Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, but I've gotten all of the missions done. I guess there isn't even any side missions on uh, this one because I've looked to see and it's just all completed missions. So that's, uh, I guess I got all the missions done here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said before, I'd played some of this offline, but now I'm playing online and I've got new reserves. Uh, so to, that's new to me anyway. A lot of most everybody else has played them, but for the first time, I'm going to head to the savannah in Africa. So when I come back, that's where we'll be. Avusheni, grandchild. Welcome home. I know it looks different than you remember. We've, I, we've had some problems here at Voronga Savannah. I've watched the sun rise and set over this park for 45 years. I've seen miracles of life, wonders of nature you would not believe. Our family's roots here run deeper than the oldest baobab tree in the park. But after 45 years, I'm humble enough to admit I can't be senior warden forever. Droughts, disease, and poachers are a constant threat. My team and I have protected and saved countless species over the years. But after a streak of bad luck, our elephants and all but one rhino are gone. If we lose more animals, the state could shut us down. See? I'm not about to hand the keys to my office to just anyone. I want to keep the role of senior warden in my tribe. Preferably my family. So, grandchild, here you are, standing in the bush. You can protect Furonga. Save the animals who call this park home. Mend what has been broken. This will make our ancestors proud. Spiritually, physically, you're going to face the most difficult challenges of your life, but you can overcome them. I believe in your talent. I always have. Now, ready to prove Grandfather and Jabulo, right? Okay. Go hey, you must have had a long flight, didn't you? Well, let's stretch your legs with some basics. You can finish these in any order you like. I'd start by reacquainting yourself with this area. Climb the nearest lookout tower. Take in the view, take note of your landmarks, and see if you can spot any wildlife. Then I'd go ahead and reopen the nearest outpost. We stopped keeping them up after last year's budget cuts. With your help, they'll make fine shelters again. Finally, show me your hunting skills. Track and harvest an animal of your choosing. I'll be judging the quality of your kill. Okay. Hamganyi, the blue wildebeest, were born to run. And they can run in herds of thousands. Unfortunately, they are not the healthiest animals. Diseases like foot and mouth spread quickly among them. So do parasites. We must keep a watchful eye over our fleet-footed friends. Well, I guess <clears throat> I'll go to the lookout first. Check it out. Mhumbi, the side-striped jackal, sticks to the woods and the scrub, scavenging from other predators or negligent campers. Unless fruit is in season. When there's fruit, that's all Mhumbi eats. Consider them gentle predators.
Well, these lookouts are a lot different looking than the others, aren't they? again, don't you? Africa, the land where people began. I knew you couldn't leave Voronga forever, grandchild. The day our family adopted you, I saw the fire in your eyes, and I said, that child is Noe, mystical, magical. And now I know I'm right. The ancestors brought you back here on my behalf. Thank you for coming. You've still got those other jobs to do, right? Don't slack! <clears throat> okay, then we'll head down to that <clears throat> outpost. Lesser Kudu. Jackal, five medium. <laughs> Man, I, <clears throat> I don't know where that four easy could have went. Oh, wait, what's that? There we go. Very easy. Four easy. It's going to be a pretty long shot, ain't it? Real long shot. I think. I hit him. for him or not. I knew them spring buck were, were little guys. That's why I brought the... I've seen all people killing a lot of them. So I brought... Uh, all I've got with me rifle-wise this time is a 243 and the, the uh, drilling rifle. I've got other rifles unlocked, but I just don't have the cash right now to buy them. That's unmistakably lesser kudu. But there's nothing lesser about these antelope. They are sweet, peaceful souls, laid back and a bit shy, so you'll have to work for them. That was a good hit, wasn't, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we'll see. Yeah. 
a good vital shot. Roll that. That's nice shoot. Low blood truth. Dang him. Yep, there he is. That's probably that littler one who was with him. I could not ask more of you. That was perfectly executed. Now you just have to do one more thing. Then I have a surprise for you. <laughs> no, I'll spoil the surprise for you. Yeah, it's good. It's more work. Ah, such is the life, eh? Oh shoot, I should have saved him, but ah, he's just a gold. I'll get others. That is everything I ask you to do. Awe, grandchild. Oh no, we have a problem. Remember how we lost the elephants and all but one rhino? You know what the problem was, don't you? Poachers. They littered the reserve with traps. The Vusha, the eastern land, was hit hardest. My crew helped the police push these poachers out of the Vusha, but they left so many traps behind, no matter how many we've cleared, we keep finding more. A junior guide spotted a few of these traps not far from where you started. Could you kindly clear them out? Yeah, I can. I wonder if it's going to be like, like the real thing, them uh, snares or, or what. Sometimes they use old steel traps too. Seen on stuff. TV shows and stuff like on PBS and stuff where they use old rusty steel traps too, but a lot of times they use them as snares, wire snares. Boy, they make a mess out of stuff. I 
could say it's gonna search around for the trap, I guess. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's snare. No, it's trap. There you go, saving the savannah, one good deed at a time. Oh, there's another one. Another good deed. One more. Must be. One track. Gemsbok. This chipene, you call it the Gemsbok or South African Oryx, is a major target for hunters and poachers. Their horns fetch a deluxe price. Despite that threat, they've lost so many natural predators, their population is booming at an unsustainable rate. Oh, shoot, I'm right there. With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. That's just a taste of the warden's work here in the Vusha. There are other regions to explore, but if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. If you'd rather continue exploring Boronga, head to my wishing tree, marked on your map. There's something important you must do before we go much further. Wherever you find a water hole, Ngalave Nova, that's our friend the warthog, won't be far. Warthog heads around here are getting crowded. That puts a lot of strain on the water supply in a reserve where water is not always abundant. The problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, iloko, bringing mischief and misfortune. They only come because our ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. Very easy. Very easy. Very easy. Oh wait, there's another one. Another very easy. Is that a male? Yeah. Go ahead and try him. Long old shot. Oh, he went right down. Oh, there he is. Silver. Okay. 
267.84 yards. right down. Silver. He is my wishing tree. Of course, this is the first place I came to celebrate when I heard you were coming back to Africa. I played the drum and sang to praise the ancestors. Then I put something special inside the tree. It's there, waiting for you. Take it. Loved it myself. Do you recognize Nyami Nyami? The Zambezi call him the river god. He brings his waters rushing, whoosh, searching for his lost wife. Maybe she was a lake goddess, I, I don't know. If we win his favor, maybe he'll help us conquer the drought that's been sucking us dry. Here's what I need from you. Hunt a springbok. Any will do, so long as you harvest it with the highest integrity while you have yummy yummy on you. Show gratitude to yummy yummy and the ancestors on behalf of your family and on behalf of the local family that this animal will feed. We never sacrifice animals for ritual alone. The local tribes donated their land to Vuronga Savannah because they rely on this ecosystem for their diet. We have a duty to them. Our old friend, the Bronking Springbok. Harvesting Springbok is a reliable way to feed local markets and prevent overgrazing, if you can catch them.
a big one, but stop, 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 stop. Your work here is still getting started, but you're already making a difference. This animal will feed locals who might otherwise rely on poachers for their meat. Now it's time for you to bring Yami Yami home to the river. Take him to the site marked in your codex and bury him. The best way to fight the poachers is to beat them to the marketplace and hunt responsibly to feed the hungry people. There are several volunteer hunters who help us do that work. They may not all be at your level, but they do good work. They're organized by Maria Bueni. She is a lioness. Maria's husband was a ranger who worked with me. He... He was killed by poachers. When you meet her, don't bring that up to her. It's too painful to discuss. Just know that's why Maria is so dedicated to her work, and why you can't let her down when she needs your help. She'll have work available whenever you find time. over that rise there. Can't see him. Hear him? Oh shoot, he moved. <laughs> I might uh, do this again. He uh, sounds like he might be getting close. Thing or not. Still be down. Lower. How far is that? One point four four miles. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll call this one a hunt. And, uh, if you would, uh, give this one a like. 
subscribe to my channel on oh, there's a, well we might take him first oh wait gotta put my scope back on it yeah I should have hit him. Went back down in the low spot there. Last time I seen him, he was right there. In the oh, shoot. Wait a minute, what's this? Yeah, I hit the, oh, that was the wrong one. Ooh, bleed rate very low. <laughs> this. This might suck. This could get hairy. <laughs> Maybe. I hope. <laughs> Twenty five still. We might have to defend. Oh man. That don't sound good. Still twenty five. Is that him? What is that? Oh, that's him dead. Okay, he's dead. So there's another one around here somewhere. Silver flash stomach for vertebrae. Ooh, yeah. Well, if I wouldn't hit him so high, it'd have been a pretty good shot, really, at the angle. All right. Now I'm going to call it a hunt. And when I come back, I'll be doing that where I've got to take that uh, spring buck uh, where he said to take it. If you would, uh, give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. And this is Wolf Baden Blitz saying I will see you later.